Britain's Brexit Secretary Stephen Barclay arrived in Brussels on Friday morning for talks with the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier. With less than a month to go until October's crucial EU summit, pressure is mounting on both sides to secure a deal that British lawmakers will back. And the message afterwards was a positive one. Well, I think there's still a lot of work to do, uh, but there is a common purpose to secure a deal. I think there's a recognition in the capitals, in the foreign ministers I've been speaking to. Uh, they want to see no deal avoided. They want the teams to reach a deal. Uh, there's a clear message from President Juncker uh, and from the Prime Minister that a deal is doable. The issue of the Irish border and how to keep it open without border checks remains the sticking point. Earlier on Friday, Irish Foreign Minister Simon Coveney said Britain and the EU aren't yet close to a deal. But he said the mood music has improved. What's very clear from the statements from the Irish government is, like the UK government, they want to see a deal done. They recognise that no deal is not in the interests of the Irish government. So there's a common purpose both in Dublin, in London and here in Brussels to see a deal over the line. Barclay also confirmed that European Council President Donald Tusk and Prime Minister Boris Johnson will hold Brexit talks at the UN General Assembly in New York next week. Brexit progress overseas perhaps, but at home further bumps in the road may yet lie ahead. Next week, Britain's Supreme Court will decide whether or not Boris Johnson's decision to shut down Parliament right before the Brexit deadline was unlawful.